oh Lord. Lord, I ask you right now to bind the works of the enemy, oh Lord. Bind him right now, oh Lord. You said in your word, whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, oh Lord. Bind him, oh Lord. Bind the enemy that comes against our mind, oh Lord. Lord, give me a clear mind, oh Lord, to hear your spirit. Lord, I thank you that your spirit is in this house right now, oh Lord. Lord, loose your spirit inside of me, oh Lord. Lord, I thank you for this Holy Ghost, oh Lord. Lord, we thank you right now because it's the Holy Ghost that moves in us, oh Lord. It's the Holy Ghost that moves in me, oh God. Lord, do it right now for your people, oh Lord. They come today seeking a word from you, oh Lord. Bless those that are sick, oh Lord. And they are bedridden right now, oh Lord. Give them strength, Lord. Heal them right now, oh Lord. Let the blood of Jesus, oh Lord, let your blood, let your blood, Jesus, let your blood, Lord. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for the blood. The blood heals, oh Lord. The blood reveals, oh Lord. Reveal the enemy right now, oh Lord. Oh Lord, bless them, Jesus. Bless your people, oh Lord. I thank you right now. I thank you for your son. I thank you for Jesus. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. My message on today is God wants you to see. God wants you to see, saints. He wants you to see. And for those that have not given their lives to Christ, salvation will allow you to see. I want to go and, I, and, and, and I'm going to skip around here. So you bear with me. Genesis, the third chapter, the fourth through the fifth verse. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Then your eyes shall be open to good and evil. That's what the serpent said. That's what the serpent said. Yeah. I want us to recognize God wants us to see. He wants us to see in this dying world, in this dying generation, God wants us to see. In Hebrews, the 11th chapter and the 7th verse, by faith Noah being warned, of God of things not seen as yet. Move with fear. Prepare an ark to save uh, to, to the saving of his house. By the which, by their which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which by which is by faith. I want to speak on what Jesus said in the red. All right. mm -hmm. Matthew, the 24th verse, and the 37th through the 39th verse. When he speaks about, but as the days of Noah uh -huh. were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Amen. What do we see today? What do we see today? I had an individual tell me, he's a believer. He told me my pastor, he said, my pastor don't look at the news. My pastor don't look at the news. He don't look at all of that. I, I, he said, I, he, he, just, he, he just watches certain things. That's all he watched, certain things. And I thought to myself, I, I, I said, I hope, that's, I hope you misunderstood that. Because I, 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 I don't think that we should be blind. All right. what, does the, what does the word say? 
Watch and pray. Mm -hmm. Watch and pray. Yeah, yeah. He didn't say he didn't say put on some blinders <laughs> like a racehorse. Right. A racehorse has on blinders so that he doesn't look left to right, but he looks forward. I hope that we don't have on blinders. All right. We need to see what's going on here in this world. Amen. I'm not afraid to look at the news. All right. All right. Amen. I'm not afraid to see what the enemy is doing. Mm -hmm. Why should we be afraid? Right. Do we not want to know what's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we, we have right now, and I couldn't believe this, we got children, they got backpacks for your children that are bulletproof. When I came up in school, well, they taught us the earthquake drill in California. Yeah, yeah. What to do when the earthquake came. Yeah. They had the earthquake drill, how to under the desk. Yeah. They had the fire drill. Yep. Now we got a drill on when somebody comes in the classroom with a gun. Yeah. How to fake your death. Where to go? Where's the exit door? This is what we're teaching our children. This is what our children are subject to. But we don't want to know what's going on in the world. Come on. Come on. We got them. We got bulletproof backpacks. Come on, baby. What are we talking about? I don't want to know. Come on. Help us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My son came home and told me about a teacher that went to theology school and started telling him about what the Bible says All right, come on. and what the Bible ain't, uh -huh. what he learned. I said, hold on. <laughs> I said, what did he say? I said, go get your Bible. Let's walk through this scripture for a moment. Let's talk about it. We need to teach these children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. yeah. I don't care about your theology. Right. You went in there to learn something. I got the Holy Ghost teaching me. Hallelujah. Anybody can pick up the Bible and read it. But you need the Holy Ghost to reveal the hidden words of that book. See, I grew up in a house. My mother, when she wasn't saved, I know what she was. Well, come on. My father wasn't saved, I knew what they was. All right. I know what it's like Marvin Gaye. All right. They got the Marvin Gaye going, what's, what's going on? All right. All right. And we talk about another hill. We ain't going to say what that is. Yeah. <laughs> they had that going. But I also know. I also know yeah, yeah. when she got saved, she wasn't playing with me. Wow. 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 See, because my mother showed me. I, you know, you know, I come up, my, my mother from Texas. Okay? So we didn't eat no McDonald's and Pizza Hut and all that. That's right. She 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 cooked every day. All right, come on. Okay? So when she would turn that plate over. Because she was fast. Mm -hmm. Then I knew she was fast because you know what? She'd go down there and get McDonald's. Because she was in there praying. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I knew, I watched her. She would take home, she would take to work. She'd take her Bible band book to work to study her, her Bible band lesson. Right before she go to sleep, she had a Sunday school book. And that Sunday school book be all lit up with highlights. <laughs> See, I know what it's like, and I know what it takes. Because I had somebody in the house that lived. And if she slipped, she had no problem saying, I need you to forgive me. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Saints, they need to see us living. Come on yeah, now. Yeah. They need to see us living. Yeah, yeah. We gonna live it. This this Noah lived it. Yeah. This Noah, this Noah was here. Guy, we gonna read. We gonna read this over in Genesis, that sixth chapter. 
But no, 120 years. Can you imagine? God gave them 120 years to turn the situation around. But they were so wicked. Conti the Bible says continuously they thought of wicked things to do. See, we thought that, oh, when the East Coast, they was over there killing them kids in the 90s over them Air Jordans. And then, they, oh, they put the metal detectors up and they fenced it up. Everybody was a little outraged about that. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but you know what? They're a little bit outraged, but they weren't saying nothing because that was, oh, that's the inner city. That's New York. Mm -hmm. That's New York. They just tripping on some shoes. But now, now, now look at our school. The end of the school year. Your kid, your kid, your kid, leave, leave your backpack at home. And if you do bring your backpack, we confiscate it. Because they are, because Homeland Security afraid that there's some stuff going on online of them trying to do a mass murder in these schools. This is what we're subject to. Constant wickedness. Constant wickedness. Without love. This world, I mean, look, I mean, it, it, I mean, do we not see the time? COVID-19 hits. Look around. These folks are more concerned. Now, it's amazing now. Since they know more of the Constitution now than they know the Bible. I see them riding around with these flags. We are the people. We the people. We used to be a country that everybody knew as a Christian country. That's right. That's right. Don't be fooled by it. we the people. We the people. Come on now. Yeah. It's amazing what we what's going on now. Yeah. The Bible is not known. Mm -hmm. Right. And then we have checked out right. as parents. We have checked out. We checked out and said, oh, I ain't, I ain't, you know what? You know, uh, baby, you, you, all you, you, you go to college. Go to college, you get your degree. You go to college, you know. What is success? I ask that question. As a saint, what is success? What do you consider success? It's success you getting the, you 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 getting your degree and you get six figures a year. We throw this Bible out. Help us. We don't want to teach no more. Well, 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 yes, sir. I some time ago, it's about last year. You know what we do, parents. We snoop. We looking for something, but then we start snooping. <laughs> <laughs> and I snooped. All right. And I came across one of my sons. He had a notebook. I looked inside the notebook. And y'all, I know when I'm a God doing this, God showing this, this, this young man <coughs> had half the notebook full of notes from different chapters where he had read the Bible. I said, Lord, well, I thank you for allowing me to see this. Because sometimes before that, he came to me, and it was after the time I preached. And he, and, 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 you know, at the time, he, he was back there with his other brother. But I, 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 I was in the house, and I, you know, I heard my voice. My voice. Right. <laughs> and he was watching me on YouTube. All right. And he came back and he said, Daddy, will you teach me? Yeah. You yeah. teach me the word. Thank and that convicted me. Thank you, Lord. That convicted me because you know I thought what I was doing was good enough. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought that that I was doing was good enough. Yeah, right. Come on. 
Sometimes, as men, as the leaves of our house, can our children say, Dad stopped and he gave us what, what he gives to the people. He gave to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what? It took me back. My mother had no problem teaching me the word. That's right. That's right. You remember when we came up? You had to memorize the verses. Yeah, all right. Y'all I mean you know what I'm talking about, deep. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, Elder. We had to get up here in front of the church, grab the mic, and get up here and, 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 and recite verses. We had to recite poems. We had to come up here and we had to go, this is Ezra, the biggest numbers around the Joshua Judges. We had to come up and recite. The Old Testament, the New Testament. We had Bible tree. We had Bible tree. I want you to find Genesis 5 and 5. You moved on one to see. What is success? We've allowed the world. To sell us an American dream. Oh, come on. Mm. And that's what happened here in Genesis. The generation of Noah. Oh. Wicked. Mm. Wicked to the core. Right. That God said he looked down and it hurt his heart. Oh, and we say we don't want to see. We say we don't want to see what's going on. We don't want to give back. We just want to come. We just want to come in. Elder, we just want to come in and we just want to sit and we just want to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't want to give back. Right. Come on, come on. Hear no evil. Ah, see no evil. Come on now. That's where we at. We don't want it. A young man, a young man, I'm going to get right back to this word. I'm in this word right now. But a young man, y'all, must have been three years ago. Young man was doing too much downtown. And we asked the young man to leave. Young man started talking crazy. He tell, he tell oh, me, I'm, I'm a blood this, I'm a blood that. And now, I mean, he got red rag out the back. Oh, man, he throwing up his gang signs. Oh, he, he, doing, he doing the most. I told him then, I, I said, you know, again, I, 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 that stuff don't phase me. Right. It don't phase me, okay? All that talking you doing, it, it don't mean nothing to me. It don't mean nothing. When I got done letting him know I wasn't, I wasn't scared, None of that. He ends up telling me that he got kicked out of his home. And I'm assuming yeah. this is a foster, yeah. a foster child. Yeah. So he turned 18, they let him go. All right, now. So he's on the streets. Okay? And he started telling me, he, he, you know, I told him, I said, let me tell you something. I said, first, let me tell you something. I'm from that hood. I'm not from your hood, but I'm from that hood. I said, let me tell you something. I don't know what you're talking about, but I know this. If you would have been kicked out, like you saying you, and I believe you got kicked out. All right. But there's this part of me that says if the hood, I know the older ones, would have allowed you to come and work for them as far as selling dope for them. So I don't know what type of hood you come from. Okay? But you know what? What you're doing, it ain't going to profit you nothing. But I've seen this young man again, and that was, that was getting three years ago. I've seen him again. Every time you see me, y'all, downtown. He mad dogging me. Uh, he giving me that hard look. Yeah. And then we'd be high, he'd be, he, he, he be going off for no reason. But I also watch him. I'm watching him. Yeah. He was watch, he'd be watching me. <laughs> Folks, you know, because I, I you know, I'm out there giving out tickets. People ain't, I'm not giving out happy meals. <laughs> <laughs> so folks be going off on me, cussing me out every day. I get I get cussed out every day. Okay? So but he be watching me, seeing how I'm going, what I'm going to do, how I'm going to act. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I was over by a probation officer giving out to you one time. Lady cussed me out. I almost felt like I need to go in that probation officer and tell your probation officer. And he was sitting there watching. Uh, and not too long ago, that young man, I was off work. And I looked at him and he seen me. And I think he thought I was up. I was going to be up to no good. Because I said, I said, man, I rolled down one. I said, man, I said, why are you looking at me like that? He said, oh, man, that's just my face. <laughs> yeah, man, that's just my face. I said, I said, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I said, I'm I haven't seen you for three years down here downtown. All right. I said, you. I can tell you this one thing. You doing all this, but it ain't you. Yeah. I said, you can try your best to fit in with all these folks. Come on now. I said, but I can tell you right now. This ain't you. Oh, yeah, make a this life right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I said, I, I said, I see him gave up that little red rag. <laughs> Come on. I said, but this life ain't for you. <clears throat> we got to be available to him. Yeah. We gotta be available to speak a word into somebody's life. Say that. Yeah. But we got to, we we gotta be connected to him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We got to be connected. And we got to know that the world is watching. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's yeah. right. He's been watching me for three years. <coughs> After I spoke that word to that young man, now I barely see him out there. All right, come on. When I see him, he's he, he on the bike. <coughs> He ain't running with all the little, he ain't running with the other little kids. Speak a word into their life. That's it. That's it. Second Peter 2 and 5. And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Y'all, Noah, Noah was out there building this boat. And understand, you can, you can look at Genesis 1 all the way up to 5, okay, before you get to 6. There was never a boat that had ever been built. God told him, I want you to build a boat the size of a football field and a half. And I want you to build it four stories high. <laughs> Noah was out there chopping on a, what's that, a uh, gopher, a gopher tree. He's chopping on a gopher tree by day. Because we have no home people, but can you imagine? <laughs> Brother Greg, can you imagine if Noah lived in our time? And Noah was going down to Home Depot and grabbing wood every day. They'd be like, man, what project you working on? He said, I'm working on a boat. Hey, are you working on a boat? What size of boat you working on? Come on now. Every day he going down there, is this man crazy? A boat? Man, do you understand? It ain't where where you, man, where you gonna put this boat? <laughs> Where are you going to put this boat, Noah? Exactly. 120 years, he came in the Home Depot every day. Oh, grabbing wood, Lord. taking it back. And then his only crew was his three sons. That's right. He had his three sons. That was his crew. And they were building this boat. He had to chop. He had to chop. But you know what he was doing by night? He was praying. And what did Peter say? Peter said he was a preacher of righteousness. Mm -hmm. So he was building by day Come on now. and preaching by night. By night. <laughs> and they must have thought he was crazy too because what was his message? <laughs> it's going to rain, y'all. What's your message next Sunday, Deacon? Whoa. It's going to rain. <laughs> What's your 
your, what's your message? What's your message gonna be this week, Deacon? It's gonna rain. For 120 years, this man had the same message. It's gonna rain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's faith, y'all. Faith. That's faith. That's it. God wants you to see. He allowed Noah to see this wicked generation. He allowed him to see, build this boat. He gave him a vision to build the boat. He gave him a vision to go out there and preach the same message over and over and over again. Yeah. It's simple. God wants to allow you to see this world for what it is. But you cannot see this world for what it is if you are a part of this world. Oh. 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 That's right. That is right. Oh. What is God trying to do? The saints used to say this. They used to, they used to say, don't move the mountain. Give me the strength to climb the mountain. They said, don't give me an elevator experience, but let me take the stairs because I want endurance. Do we not understand when, 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 when a submarine is underwater. All of that pressure should crush the submarine underwater. But the scientists tell me that there's more pressure inside the submarine than the pressure that's on top of the submarine. God is trying to make it where, and when you're going through your trials and your tribulations, that you build up pressure. Because when you build up pressure, you don't mind waiting. All right, all right. When you can build up pressure on the inside with the Holy Spirit that's within you, the pressure on the outside can get to you. You can ride deep. You can ride low. And it still don't bother. Yeah. The enemy can bring it, and you still take it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want to take the pressure. Lord, don't take the pressure off of me. Give me the pressure on the inside that I can take it. I want to be able to take on this work, not throw in the towel. But the Lord has to have something inside of you. Thank you, Lord. you got to have that Holy Ghost yeah, inside yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, yes, yes. yes and I'll, I'll read these last verses and I'll sum this up. Genesis 6, 1 through 9. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and the daughters were born unto them that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair and they took them wives of all which they chose Hi, bye. that the sons of God saw these are fallen angels now, I'm sorry y'all watched that movie with Russell Crowe and Noah um that ain't it. These fallen angels, and this is what we have today. Okay. This is what we have today. Right. This is what we have today. The men were demon possessed. They were demon possessed. These angels, they were possessed with demons. We have a world today that's possessed. But if you believe in the Holy Spirit, there has it. What? They said a third. They said a third of heaven left. They right here with us. When Jesus, when Jesus ran up on the man, when the man ran up on Jesus, and he was full of demons. 
He said, what, what, now what did he say? He said, he, he said uh, have you come yeah. before my time? Yeah. Huh. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. Have you come before my time? Mm -hmm. Bid us not to leave this region. Mm -hmm. See, the, the devil know this word. The devil know this word. And they knew, well, certain things hadn't happened yet. Mm. It ain't my time to leave. Mm. The devil know this word. That's why we got to know him. That's why we got to teach him. That's why we got to be a part of some things. We can't just come and hear the word. We have to be a part of some, we gotta be a part of Sunday school. Amen. We have to be a part of Bible stuff. Amen. How you gonna sharpen your iron? Come on now. Now when I started back going to the gym, I couldn't do nothing. I was burnt out on I was burnt out on, on eight reps. <laughs> Good. I, I do I do a little bit more than they rest now. We got to get some endurance. Yeah. We got to sharpen each other's iron. You got to know what you you got to know what to say when to say it. But you can't do it if you ain't trained. If you think you come here on Sunday and hear the pastor preach, or the man of God or the woman of God preach and think you're going to jot down some notes and you're going to be like, oh, man, I'm good. I'm good. Fill up your tank once a month and see what happens. Well, yeah, you say that again. Somebody said, fill it up once a week now. See what happens. Since I, I, since before the pandemic, it's been almost three years. Yeah. My cousin called and said, "Man, I'm, I'm putting together a Zoom, man, for men, for men, and this is men from Utah, it's men from Seattle, California. We all on this call. We meet at one point. It was every, it was every Tuesday. But I, we do that." He did that so we could sharpen yeah. our iron. And you know what? It was a blessing. But you know what? Yeah. Uh, we, we went through Revelation. Uh, we done went through First, Second Timothy. We in Hebrews now. We, I mean, we, 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 we done went through some, some books. All right, all right, all right. But we sharpening each other's iron. Oh. We talking about men issues. And those same and those and those same study, you know, the same study guys we had. I was taking that, I was taking that, that those guys, and I was teaching my sons. Amen. Amen. We got to do what we got to do. Yeah, that's right. right. That's right. Once a week, hour a day, ain't gonna get it. Mm -hmm. Try eating on try eating only on Sunday and Come see on, what man. happens. Come on, man. See what happens. You're going to lose some weight. You're going to be malnutrition. And at some point, somebody going to take you to the hospital. That's right. Because at some point, you ain't going to be able to go to work. We got to do more. We got to do more. This, 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 this wickedness, and, 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 and I'm going to end right here, but just like in the days of Noah, there was an increase in wickedness. Right. And the scripture says, God looked down and he said, but no. But no. Can you be that but for your family? And I'm talking to men. Can you be that but for your family? Can you rise up and be that Noah and look to him 
This is what this world needs today. We have watered down the gospel. We watered it down. We've said it's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. They don't know us. Some children don't know what's the difference between my unsaved friend's house and my house. Only thing is my parents go to church. They parents don't go to church. Don't let that be said. Don't let that be said. Amen. Let the folks look at us and know that there's a difference. Yeah. I can remember my friends. We moved into a new neighborhood. We moved out the hood and we moved into a new neighborhood. My mom would drive me to school. So my friends, oh, they like, oh, man, hey, hey, can we drive with you? I said, oh, man, come on. But see, when you get in my mom's car, you know what I mean? She got that, she got that Holy Ghost music going. Uh -huh. <laughs> see, I see, hey, they joke, I, I, hey, I'm used to it. <laughs> they got, and they, they start wondering, my friends out there, you know, they be like, man, she don't, man, your mom, she don't cuss. Man, what is that music y'all and your mom always like? I like it though, man. <laughs> but what is that music? All right. I was like, man, wow. So I'm like, yeah, y'all really don't go to church. <laughs> they don't, they didn't. I'm telling you, 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 you'd be surprised. I was back then. What about now? Wow. Let us be here. Let us be this, let us be the generation, because this generation now, they need us. They need us to stand. Because if we can't stand, this world is going to they, they, they will swallow them up. We got to watch and pray and see, see God's face. Ask God to guide us on what to do and what to say. I look at my, I, I, I'm telling y'all, look at what's going on and I'm, I'm, I'm Three-year-old, they, they right now, they got something right now, right now, for three-year-old children. I'm talking pre-K. All right. They want to teach your, your children about transgender. Yeah. At three, pre-K. My son can't, my son can't go, can't even use a bathroom <laughs> on his own. I mean, much less know how to go to bed at the right time. And Disney is trying to teach the same thing. They want Mickey to teach us about transgender. Come on. We got to see what's man. We got to watch and pray. We got to watch and pray. We need, when, we, when I say success, Ain't nothing wrong with your child going to college and getting umpteen degrees. But when you get those umpteen degrees, please look at serving the people. Be a judge. Be a lawyer. Be a cop. We want somebody in there that got the light on Hallelujah. My son said he wants to be FBI. I said, man, come on. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I ain't mad at you. Amen. Do it. But I want you to understand when you do it, you, you stay close to God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Because you're going to be exposed. And I told him, I said, you'll be exposed to the most wicked things of me. Yeah, Lord. Yeah. yeah. These cops are being exposed to the most wicked things. They're not being called over to this side of town to go hand out a McDonald's Happy Meal. No, That's right. they're dealing with life and death situations That's many right. times. Right. They need a place to release. Yeah. They need Jesus. Yeah. 
We need people with integrity, y'all. And, and the only way that you'll be able to, you're able to, to see through this wickedness is by the Holy Spirit. We need salvation. Let us stand. Let us stand.